Greetings. This is Dr. Bo Shen, professor of the medicine at the Cleveland Clinic. This is about our article recently published in GIE entitled Endoscopic Needle Knife Therapy for Ileal Pouch Sinus, a novel approach for the surgical complication. The aftercolectomy for refractory ulcerative colitis or colitis associated dysplasia or familial adenomatous polyposis. There are three ways to establish the GI tract continuity. And ileostomy. In the middle we call the cook pouch, but today's focus mainly on the J pouch or S pouch here. The J pouch the made from the last segment of the distal small bowel about 30 centimeters. So the surgeon uses 30 centimeters of the distal small bowel to fold it into a reservoir and then link to the anal canal or rectal stump. Put the anastomosis here. The area of the anastomosis later on can cause the trouble. In fact, there's a leak in that area This today we'll talk about. Now here is called a diverting ileostomy. The loop ileostomy has two lens. The purpose of the loop ileostomy is to let the J pouch mature. There are two forms of the pouch. Nowadays, they performed in the United States and around the globe. S pouch and J pouch. Majority of the patients were qualified to J pouch surgery, which is simpler than S pouch surgery. However, S pouch has an advantage. Main advantage over the J pouch is provided the surgeon with additional two centimeters to one inch length of the small bowel in order to reach the anal canal to avoid the anastomotic tension or leak. For the majority of people qualified with the J pouch, the J pouch is made from the small intestine again and it has one U term. This is called Aphelin Lin. This is the Aphelin Lin. This is the tip of the J. And the opening here, later on, typically use the staple or hand zone to stitch to the anal transition zone or rectal cuff. We call it a pouch outlet. Now, some of the patient has an asthmatic tension or ischemia then cause the surgical leak. The common area of surgical leak in the setting of the J pouch is leak at the tip of the J, middle of the pouch along the suture line, and here is called a pouch vaginal fistula, that means leak to the vagina, and here was a leak posteriorly to the cavity in front of the tailbone. We call it pre-sacral sinus. Today's topic is about the endoscopic therapy to entreat the sinus here. So traditionally, the surgical approach, the surgical approach would be redo the pouch or use the, use the uh, surgical advanced pouch technique, remove that area, advance the pouch and redo anastomosis. And another way that the surgical approach is to deroofing the pouch sinus, then make the sinus cavity become the part of the pouch. The all surgical approach has two issues. Number one is invasive. Number two is has a surgical recurrence. Here's the show that um, one of the patients we treated with a pouch advanced surgery or pouch reversion surgery, and you see that a leak here showed on the pouchogram or gastrographic enema and this is the leak here on the endoscope, here the pouch lumen. This is the after the revision surgery. The patient did well for two or three years, and later on, developed sinus again. Now, here it showed our approach, endoscopic approach. So one of the main detrimental adverse events of the pouch uh, presacral sinus is abscess formation in that area and cause the symptoms of the pelvic, pelvic, uh, pelvic discomfort, fever, chills, 
high blood cell count, and in some of the patients, even to the osteomyelitis of tailbone. The basic concept of the needle knife therapy is open the sinus cavities orifice to drain that abscess there. In the meantime, sometimes we use needle knife to cut the septum in between the sinus cavity and the abdominal in the pouch body and then make the sinus become a part of the pouch. So the goal for endoscopic therapy for pouch sinus is to avoid the surgery by completely healing or at least reducing the size of the sinus, epithelialize the sinus cavity to make the sinus to become a diverticulum. Also can avoid uh, development of the abscess, vaginal, fistula, or osteomyelitis. Here's an illustrated uh, case. Sinus here behind the pouch body. The, actually, this patient has a, um, the two sinus opening. You basically use a needle knife, last things open, and this is the sinus cavity or chronic abscess cavity. And the patient was cured by therapy. Here I showed a short video about the, the, the procedure. This the patient actually had a compartmentalized sinus cavity here, multiple small compartments, and here the pouch lumen. The concept of the needle knife therapy is to make all the small sinus cavities combine into the big one. Later on, those area will be replaced by the epithelium of the pouch body. Complex pouch sinus again, multiple therapy, and after more than 10 sessions of the endoscopic therapy, the sinus was cured. Here's another sinus, and then sometimes we do the sinus therapy, we cut the septum, and in the meantime we inject doxycycline, sometimes injected D50 or 50% of glucose. The purpose of the injection is to promote the fibrosis at the base of the sinus cavity to fill the sinus to promote the fibrosis here. Here is a, we use a Doppler ultrasound. The Doppler ultrasound, the purpose, it is to detect the, uh, the rich area with the um, uh, blood flow. You try to avoid that area to cut. Then you find that area has minimal blood flow and then you need to use a needle knife to cut and to reduce the side effect from the bleeding. So the, after the needle knife cut, we again inject the uh, doxycycline or D50. Now this is the concept, this is the sinus here. The, eventually the, the ultimate goal is become that the sinus become epithelialized cavity or diverticulum. Now this is the sinus that becomes the part of the pouch. To prove the concept, this is the healed sinus. We took biopsies. The biopsy is mucosa sh showed here, the iliomucosa. That means this is the sinus cavity is totally epithelialized. We reached our goal to make the sinus to become a diverticulum. In summary, endoscopic therapy provides a valid, safe, and effective way to cure this detrimental surgical leak or pouch sinus. Thank you very much.